Hi everyone, it's Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. And today we're back to a normal day where I'm doing a normal painting and I'm gonna be using some boom gel today. And I'm gonna use all boom gel except for my um, my base coat, which is gonna be Artist Law Flow Acrylic. Um, and my husband made me a new pour tool and I'm gonna test that out today right here before you all. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna put some white down first. I think the last time I did this, I may have, uh, I may have forgotten to put down the white base coat, like just a little drop of white here. I'm not putting too much. I don't want to, uh, I don't want too much there. Just a little tad of white. And here is my torch. I did uh, mix that up a little while ago. And I, like I said, I'm using the boom gel. And if you notice, this is in like an oval shape. So I figured it would be good. This is an eight by 10 canvas. So I figured this would be a great, um, a great little tool for something that's uh, that kind of shape. And I'm going to be using a uh, Parrot Fish Green Boom Gel Stain and Pearlescent Pink. And this says Pearlescent Teal, but it's actually mint in there. It's Pearlescent Mint, Pandora Pink, and Borgonia Burgundy. And then I have a Sterling Wax White Boom Gel. A Willy Wick Tail Black Boom Gel and some Metallic Gold Boom Gel. And I have it up on my spinner here. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. So I have a little white there. And I think I'm going to take, uh, I think I could take these tops off. And let's see, uh, let's see how the boom gel works on here. I did try some, uh, the other day I tried the Master's Touch, uh, pre-mixed. And then I also, the other, uh, before that, I had the Artist Loft pre-mixed. So I want to see how, um, boom gel works on here. I bet you this will... Tonight it's a thicker paint, so I think it might it might hold better. The Artist Loft was was really a perfect paint to use. Um, maybe a little on the thin side. This is a little thicker, so I, I do have a feeling that this might come quite beautiful. I'm hoping so anyway. So I'm putting these down in the order that uh, I, I gave them to you, that I read them out. Seems to be flowing pretty slowly. Um, I do love my boom, my boom gels. I use them uh, in my blooms. I love the way they come out in my, with, with my blooms. I'll put a little white in here. said the boom gel is um it is a thicker paint so i have a feeling that it's going to work pretty well and i think we're going to make a pretty flower here look at that how pretty um how pretty that's coming out put a little black in there too some gold I uh, guess we should go one more round around one more so if you um 
We want to take a, a little look at the Facebook group. Um, there's Cass. Um, she has a Facebook group for the Boom Gel. Uh, it's quite uh, quite a nice group over there. I wonder if we should go backwards on this. Let's go backwards. See how that works out. Oop, maybe every other one. She's got a great little uh, Facebook page for her boom gels. And I know um, you can you can purchase the boom gel from uh, the Fluid Art Company. You can get it over there. Um, Billy um, from the Shelly Bloom course. Um, you can purchase the uh, boom gels from uh, the Fluid Art Company. Two pigs in a row, looks nice. That'll be pretty, a little contrast there. And I don't know if there's any, there's a little white left in here. Those colors are gorgeous. Yeah, okay. A little white. A little black. A tad of black. That black and white reminds me of um, last week. I was watching uh, My Fair Lady. And, oh, I don't know if you remember My Fair Lady. Um, when they went to the horse races, they all wore black and white and they had these gorgeous hats on. So beautiful. Oh, I love that movie. Um, gorgeous out, oh, the, the costumes were amazing. They really were absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I'll take these out of the way. And um, let's see if we can uh, blow some of that gold off. Blow the rest of that gold down. There we go. that for good use of my little mini blow dryer here or leaf blow or whatever they want to call it I like this one because it doesn't have that um, attachment this one has uh, no attachment you just use batteries I actually prefer uh, the batteries to no batteries yeah so this looks pretty good um, that looks pretty good so far. Let's see if I can give a little blow. Get the rest of that gold out. And I'm going to pull this up. And I hope, yep. John does not fail me. Those middles do come absolutely beautiful each and every time. Maybe I'll just do a little of this. How pretty is that? Oh, how gorgeous. That is very pretty. Let me get some of my, uh, yeah, I should have did, I should have put my, wasn't paying attention here. Well, is that my hair? Jeez, my hair's falling out. Okay. Let me put some of this around, then I'll do that again. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. It's been a very busy few days here. Um, but things are going to get back to normal soon. 
once this contest is over and it's gonna take a while before that painting gets shipped because it's gotta be fully dried and uh, yeah, I'm gonna varnish it and then it'll be off to its new owner, whoever that may be. It'll be exciting. I'm really excited over that. We had a great turnout. Um, hopefully we still have turn people coming. Um, please visit our um, May the 4th Be With You. Visit my page there. And, um, you know, just like and comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, yeah, you'll be entered in that contest, which go to each and every... Uh, Every other uh, con contest person, every other person who poured that day, they're all listed down below. Not in this video. It has to be, it has to be the video. Um, May the fourth be with you. It has to be that video where I did my constellation, my my galaxy pour rather. I'm sorry, my galaxy pour, and um, then you have to visit. All the other ladies who poured that day, they were all listed down, not in this video, they're listed down in my video on uh, May the 4th. And go comment on all of their videos. And once you're done with those comments, um, on Sunday, you have until 9 p.m. on May 8th. And then on Sunday, um, at 9 a.m., um, the winner will be picked. And once that winner is picked, that's going to be a great day. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this came out really pretty. I'm really happy with the results that I got from John's um, pouring tool. And let me, uh, let me give this a spin. I'm gonna push it back a little bit, if you don't mind. Well, let me give you a, a little look at that. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna give it a spin. And hopefully not too much goes all over my house. Whoa! <laughs> okay, didn't, uh, didn't hold that down too much. Okie dokie. how pretty that's going. Very pretty. Gotta have John make these, uh, does a great job. I must admit. Look how pretty that is. And the boom gels are really holding up pretty good. I must say. Yeah. Check it out. Check that out. Yeah, I want to reach it. I want it to reach all the way to the end. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. I'm wondering if I could just take a little off of... Uh, I'm happy. I love it. I do. Um, yeah, this is, these petals are a little different. But you know what? This is fluid art. This is abstract art. Um, I love these colors together. 
Um, I think the color choice was great. Um, take a look at those boom gels, how they shine. And they do dry um, almost the same as what you're looking at right now. Um, I'll give you a look at that. Not, to, not today because uh, this is going to be going up tonight. But this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I love it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, give me a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if you'd like to see something different, uh, yeah, comment, subscribe, yeah, let me know you were here. Love to have you back tomorrow. Ring that bell. Have a great night, everyone. Please wait for the close-up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye now.